Folks, this is Jeff from this week with JTT. For some funny reason, I feel like I'm in the Godfather. I mean, like, just when I thought I was done with Richard Zegler, I get pulled back. <laughs> but you know what? This time around, I don't mind it, and I'll tell you why. Now, you know Richard Zegler is having problems, you know, with, with the public backlash, trying to um play damage control because of the way she, you know, went with these interviews and went pretty much South Disney scrambling trying to um, play damage control as well. But Disney has a new problem in the name of the Daily Wire. Yes. Yes, they got to make their own anti-woke version of Snow White. Translation is going to be done right. That's right. It could be done accurately. And this is the thing, though. Disney tried to, during the power to discredit, tried to Try to make it look bad. But here's the thing. If Disney is so confident in their product, how about simply just, you know, release their movie in March as originally planned? If I'm correct, this one from Daily Wire is called Snow White and the Evil Queen, supposed to be like later on this summer. You know what I say to that? If I'm a betting man, I say people will pass up the one in March, the woke version of Snow White, and wait till the summertime to see the accurate one come out this summer. If I'm correct, the actress who plays um this anti woke versus snow, I think is Brett um Cooper, I think. I gotta double check that. Yeah, basically they played the accurately to some dwarfs the whole bit. I say yes. Because like I'm sorry. Go by the original tale from the Grimm's brothers. Yes, the Grimm's brothers, in case you've forgotten. But for some reason here we go is Brett Cooper and she Fits the bill of Snow White perfectly. Right down to the singing. Incredible. But right now, Richard Zegler is freaking out. Her ideas are going to have teachers saying, like, it's okay to race swap and all that. It's like, okay, whatever. Like I said, I'm sorry. The backlash you create for the public is going to guarantee that the woke versus Snow White is going to be crashing down harder and faster than the Hindenburg. Meanwhile, I'm going to bet you any amount of money. The Daily Wars version of Snow White will be nearly as ridiculous high budget as Disney's version. And it'd be kind of funny, like, say, and they invest, like, you know, like, almost a minimum amount of capital for Snow White and Evil Queen, and they blow the Disney one out the water. This is why Disney tried to do everything they can to try to discredit um, Snow White and the Evil Queen. They are trying every the power to really, like, keep people from seeing it. I'm sorry. My money says that Snow White and Evil Queen is going to embarrass. You heard me. They're going to embarrass the woke version of Snow White and uh, seven special individuals. So it's going to be a fun time. So next year, folks, get ready. If you want to look at the uh, woke version of Snow White and knock yourself out. But other than that, save your money. Save it during the summertime and watch Snow White and the Evil Queen. The accurate anti-woke version. I say what I said, folks. And Miss Rachel Zegler, get a grip, get a life. Peace.